Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I promise you I tried to find good positive news to share with you today, but I could not ignore the latest developments in the Red Sea. One of the biggest news is Defense Secretary Austin's announcement of the Operation Prosperity Guardian. So far, 19 countries have joined this effort against Yemen. There is a lot to be said about the most powerful country on Earth, and yet another show of force sending a nuclear sub as well as other naval assets capable of delivering an equivalent of 4,000 Hiroshima bombs that will cause a global nuclear winter, sending these assets to one of the most impoverished areas in the entire world, Yemen. This is to be viewed in the context of the refusal to cease fire in Gaza, of course. In this video, we'll take a look at the latest events in the Red Sea from, uh, from the finance and economic perspectives, focusing on the price of oil, natural gas, and supply chain disruptions. These developments are already hurting global supply chains and increase the cost of moving goods globally. According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, more than 80% of global trade is moved by sea. About 12% of world shipping traffic passes up the Red Sea and through the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal and the Bab el Mandeb Strait in the south are major routes for energy shipping. Goldman estimates that 7 million barrels of crude oil are shipped through the Bab el Mandeb Strait daily. The Suez Canal is an essential route for LNG shipments from the United States to Asia. These events are impacting the price of crude oil and the price of natural gas, which is very bad news for Europe right when very cold temperatures are about to set in and there are no cheap energy alternatives. Since Europe is now increasingly dependent on oil and gasoline from the Middle East and Asian countries, these routes are absolutely crucial for its supply chain. This week, oil prices rose considerably as shipments through the Red Sea are halted due to these safety concerns. Here you can see the yellow dots are ships avoiding the Red Sea. These are container ships, of course. The longer this lasts, the more impact it will have on the global supply chain. Even the United States Army will not be able to avoid the consequences of this impact, according to experts. They say that the U.S. Air Force may face delays in the supply of jet fuel. That's how serious this appears to be in terms of the impact on shipments. Earlier this week, oil prices increased 3% as more and more shipment carriers, including the biggest companies such as Maersk, MSC, and Hapak Lloyd, announced cancellations of cargo routes through the Red Sea and into the Suez Canal, as they make a decision to avoid it altogether. Around 30% of global container trade passes through the Suez Canal, so whether we are aware of this or not, this will impact us as consumers. Some ships are being rerouted via the Cape of Good Hope in the south of Africa. And so this is the main alternative right now uh, to the Red Sea. It adds up to three weeks for shipment times and substantially increases fuel costs. Goldman believes that the longer route adds about $4 of additional cost to the price of a barrel of crude. As the cost of shipment increases, so does the price that the end consumer has to pay. Following Lloyd Austin's announcement, European stocks closed lower as oil and natural gas prices surged. Five of the world's six largest shipping companies have already announced that they will not be able to go through the Red Sea British Petroleum BP and Taiwan's Evergreen became the latest to suspend transit in the area. There is a growing potential for considerable supply disruptions, but at this time, the impact on crude oil prices have been quite limited. And this is because the main issue is the length of shipping passage, not the actual availability of crude oil itself or natural gas itself. Production is not affected, but rerouting the vessels adds delays and additional costs, which in turn increases oil prices and natural gas prices. Since the morning of December the 18th, when the operation was announced, crude oil has increased 
For example, WTI, West Texas Intermediate Crude Oil, which is cheaper than Brent, rose approximately just under $4 per barrel. It's now trading at $74 per barrel. Today alone, the price saw a significant jump of over a dollar. Brent crude, this is Europe's benchmark price for the fuel, is typically more expensive than WTI. It surged nearly 8% to approximately $80 per barrel. Natural gas prices increased as well to $39 per megawatt hour on Monday and continued upward trend today on Tuesday. Obviously, it is too early to tell if there will be a long-term effect on prices since we don't really know how long this escalation will last and what will eventually transpire of it. As long as production continues and wells are not shut down or impacted in any way, Crude oil is unlikely to substantially increase beyond its current levels. And of course, same goes for natural gas and LNG. This is a developing story, and I suppose that once you get to this point, it's very, very likely that the situation may be taken a step further. If it does stabilize, which we all hope that it does, and shipping companies feel comfortable to pass through the Red Sea again, crude oil is likely to return back to its downward trend. The sponsor of this video is ExpressVPN. It offers best-in-class encryption that keeps your internet traffic protected from hackers and from snoops. As you know, I have been using ExpressVPN for months now, and I'm very, very pleased with the quality of their service. ExpressVPN uses the industry's most advanced VPN server, and it gives you control over your online privacy and how your data is being used. As you connect to a secure VPN server, your internet traffic goes through an encrypted tunnel that nobody can see into, including hackers and even your internet service provider. ExpressVPN allows you to connect five devices at the same time with just one subscription. Go ahead and claim three full months of completely free service when you sign up with the link that I'm sharing in the video description below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and informative. Make sure that you give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and consider sharing it. Subscribe to my channels on Rumble and YouTube. And of course, I would love to have you join my newsletter on Substack. You will find all of my social links linked in the video description below. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my new one tomorrow. Bye for now.